year with the support of the Hartman Family Foundation and the greater Chicago community, we were privileged to bring 15 teenagers who have survived cancer, have lived through leukemia, brain tumors, who come to Israel to give uh, gratitude and thanks to God and to bond with each other to move on to the next stage. On behalf of the entire Chai Lifeline and the entire Israel, we'd like to welcome you home. Getting off the plane and to see that so many people are there that care about you, that want you to have a good time was pretty crazy to feel. Walking the streets of the city of David, where the great king once resided, I've never been more proud to be Jewish than how I feel now. And that's because of this trip and because of the people here and because of the land. We were at the, uh, the wall and we said a prayer together and you know, I got tears in my eyes. It was just really nice. It's so special to be able to come here uh, after having gone through the hardest parts of my cancer and to share it with all the other kids here who have gone through very much the same thing that I have. Knowing that we all went through cancer, it kind of provides a foundation of everything. But then everyone adds their own, their own story to it, their own flavor. You can learn so much about them, you can learn about their journey, and everyone's is different. No one is exactly the same. Sometimes you can connect more with somebody because you have a very similar story, but it's never the same. Camels. I think that was huge for me. I think that I wasn't gonna do it. Like I said, you learn about yourself. You you do things you you don't think you can do. moment that profoundly impacted Michelle and that was at the hospital. She flashbacked to the amount of pain that she personally went through. personal moments with all these people. I know all of them on a deeper level. And now Israel is a place where I made 14 more new friends and they're just that much closer to my heart. There was a point where honestly, you didn't know if they'd live, if they'd ever make it. But to see them post-treatment at that stage, enjoying life to the fullest and connecting with other people and sharing, it, it's something that really just takes your breath away. find people who have hearts like this. And if you're working for this organization, you obviously have the biggest heart in the world. I really can't imagine an organization doing a better job than what you guys managed to do. Karen told me that it's the first time that their daughter mentioned the word cancer better than any therapy they could get. Mm -hmm.